What is going on guys? Pixel Dan here. Now, a while back, you guys probably saw that I reviewed the awesome Kotobukiya Mega Man model kit figure. And if you didn't, well, perhaps you should check that review out. Because we're going to move on and do another figure from the line. One that I've quite been anticipating. Check it out. Proto Man! The anti-hero from the Mega Man series himself, and one of my absolute favorite characters. Needless to say, when I saw that this guy was coming out, I knew that I was going to have to add him to my collection. So why don't we take an in-depth look at the Kotobukiya 1 10th scale Proto Man model figure. Proto Man comes in the same style box that Mega Man came packaged in. The box features some bright and colorful artwork of the famous anti-hero. The lettering on the box has an awesome 8-bit font. Now inside that box you'll find several plastic trees housing the many parts it takes to put together your Proto Man action figure. This is a snap together model kit so there's no glue and really no other utensils needed. Though it probably wouldn't hurt to have a hobby knife with you to help cut off those plastic parts from the trees. You can pull or twist most of them off, but some of them are a tad tight, so the knife does come in handy. The model kit is fairly easy to put together, and the instructions are easy to follow. There are a lot of small pieces, so definitely be careful not to drop and lose anything. It took me about an hour to put the full figure together. And there he is in all of his glory. Proto Man. Blues here has a terrific sculpt, making for an awesome representation of the character in figure form. From the bright red of his helmet and arm cannon, to the yellow scarf hanging from the back of his neck. He stands approximately 5 inches in height and has a load of articulation, which makes for some great posing options. One thing to note is that since this is a model kit, the parts do tend to easily come apart while moving the parts around excessively. It's of course easy to pop them back into place, but this guy is definitely meant more for display and not for play. Now if you saw my review of the Mega Man figure, then you know some of the awesome things in store with Proto Man here, as he has many of those same features. But let's take a look anyway, shall we? Proto Man includes three pairs of interchangeable hands. The hands easily pop right off the ball joint at the wrist. Included are closed fists, open hands, and fists that are designed for holding his shield, which we'll get to in just a bit. And of course, he also includes his arm cannon, because where would Proto Man be without his arm cannon? The cannon can be placed on either arm that you desire, and combining the various hands and the arm cannon gives you several different posing options and fighting stances. Proto Man's famous shield includes two small handles that plug into the back of the shield itself and then plug into the open fists. Now if you don't want your Proto Man to hold the shield, it can also be stored on his back. There is a small black knob that holds both his scarf piece and also plugs into that shield.
Now, if you decide that you don't want to store the shield on his back, you can also remove that black peg and replace it with a smaller yellow one that is designed only to hold the scarf. Using this smaller knob actually allows for more posability of the scarf piece so you can get that cool wind blowing action or just have it laying down. The figure also features three different faces. That's right, you can change his facial expressions. By removing the front of the helmet, you can slide the face out and replace it with a new one. The figure includes a standard face, an angry face, and my personal favorite and the one that I feel fits the character the most, the smirk. Just like with Mega Man, you also get a blast accessory that plugs onto the front of his arm cannon. Pew pew pew! Now one thing I spoke about with the Mega Man review were the small blemishes that are left behind on the figure due to those plastic trees. Now the same thing does happen with Proto Man here. Admittedly, I may have been a tad too hard on Mega Man as several of you pointed out to me. This is after all a model kit, and I was looking at it strictly from an action figure standpoint. So while this snap together model is designed to be put together as is with no additional tools or painting necessarily needed, the fact is that being a model, it actually does help if you have a little bit of extra work put into it. Grab that hobby knife from earlier and use it to smooth out those small plastic blemishes. It really helps out quite a bit. And if any of you out there are good painters and you want to give Proto Man a bit of a touch up, there is no doubt that he could be made to look even cooler than he already does. Proto Man has always been a favorite character of mine from the Mega Man games. And this new model kit from Kotobukiya is easily one of the best representations of him in plastic form. He's easy to put together. He has a wide range of articulation, and interchangeable pieces give you many display options. So it'll be hard to decide exactly how you want to pose him on your shelf. And wow, does he look fantastic! standing alongside Mega Man. If you've got that one, then you have to get this one. Proto Man retails for $29.99 in the US. If you're okay with going through a little bit of work, then this is a great figure, and I would definitely recommend adding him to your collection. Until next time, For more information on Kotobukiya and their products, be sure to check out their official site at www.kotous.com and find them on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Kotobukiya.